Hello there and welcome to Table Rock Trout Unlimited fly tying videos. Today we're going to be tying one of the absolute easiest flies you will ever learn to tie while also being one of the most effective flies you will ever tie. It's gotten a lot of attention um, in the guide industry as of late. Competition anglers have known about it for a very long time. It absolutely wrecks fish and it takes no time to tie so it's no issue at all when you lose a bunch of them or when you have clients lose a bunch of them or you just stay caught in the trees all day. We're tying this today on a number 8 jig hook with a number 4.0 black um, slotted tungsten bead. But you can tie this fly on a number of different hooks. Before I started, before I started tying a bunch of flies on um, jig hooks, I tied it on a, um, a number 10 down to a number 6 uh, scud hook with a tungsten bead on it. Um, the material for this fly, the fly is called the mop fly, and it's so named because of the the dust mops that became fairly popular over the last number of years with these chenille fingers that come off of them. So they come in a variety of colors. This green mop was the first color that was ever actually introduced to me for the fly, but I keep this material in a gazillion different colors from pink and red to bubblegum pink to tan, and we're going to be using this cream color today to tie my favorite version of it. So all we did was took our thread back to the, um, the start of the bend and all we're going to do is lash this guy down to the, the top of the hook shank. And believe it or not, some people would call that done. They call it a done mop fly, tie in a whip finish and go fish it. And um, it would certainly produce one fish after another. For me, I like to tidy it up just a little bit. And on most all of my mops, I add a, um, a dubbed collar to the top in a contrasting color. Um, so I'm going to use, on my um, cream ones, I use a black ice dub just to tidy up and to, um, to give it a little bit of an extra bit of um, a head or a collar or, or something just to um, give it a little bit more of a um, of a finished look. And then I'm going to pull these back so I have some room to um, tie in my whip finish. If you're using white thread like I am here and um, the white thread wants to really show through, you can always take a, um, a dark colored sharpie and color the thread um, just a couple inches down um, from the base and, and that will take care of that. So right there is the mop fly. I have a box of them. Pink, red, green, black, brown, cream, almost every color I can find these in. I tie them and keep them. And these flies will never disappoint. Well, they might like every now and then disappoint and not cut your fish, but they are one of the most effective um, fish producers that I have ever fished. So get to tying and go catch some fish. 